My name is Angelica Duenas. I am a Bernie Sanders delegate and I represent the state of California. So you, t you attended the DNC um, uh, this past week? I did. I did. I was part of the convention. You must have been super happy and jolly going over there and being involved. It was definitely an exciting experience. Um, it was filled with lots of uh, joy, excitement, um, anger, frustration, sadness. Um, it was definitely a wealth of emotions. Yeah, so you were emotionally engaged as Absolutely. well as spiritually and uh, um, politics. Yes, I, we were. We, we all were. I think we were all very invested in the convention. Have you ever been at, uh, elected to become a delegate before? No, sir. This was the first time I was part of a, of so a, of a convention. So explain the process, please. Sure. Um, well, I started by, I ran as a, as a district delegate. Um, unfortunately, um, I did not make the top three females, um, but I, I stayed involved. I stayed involved in, in my district's work with the canvassing and the primaries and all of that. Um, and then I did also apply to be an at-large and a PLEO delegate, and I was able to get that. It was a political leader, elected official position. So that was a lot of pressure, right? The first time being up there, you, your decisions will actually affect 320 million people down the road? Yeah, no, we were very aware that we were representing uh, many votes, not just ours. Some of us thousands, some of us millions, you know, the, the ones that were representing the state. So we were very aware, well aware that it wasn't just us that we were representing there. So tell us about some of the activities. Sure, um, we had somewhere to be every day from 7.30 in the morning all the way till 11 o'clock at night. Um, we had a breakfast, a delegate breakfast, um, which followed by meetings, followed by caucuses, followed by a short break, and then over to the convention hall. Um, so it was definitely um, draining and time consuming. <laughs> um, we walked a lot, and we studied a lot. It was like a sauna out there, so you gotta take the good with the bad sometimes. <laughs> yeah. So, but the uh, reality of the matter is that you guys weren't really welcome. Not at all, not at all. It was kind of interesting because the, the dialogue or, or the, the, the narrative that they were painting was of, of un unity and togetherness, and that was definitely not what the attitude and the actions were. It was, it was pretty much the opposite. <laughs> Yeah, so explain a little bit uh, about that. Uh, because unity means a lot of involvement, people compromising, and now you're saying that it was counter to that. It wasn't really a unifying event. Absolutely, if anything, it was the absolute opposite. Um, I, from the speakers and how their speeches were organized to the actual Hillary delegates, there was no real attempt um, to unify or, or to reach out to the Bernie delegates. Um, it was a, a, a big commercial. It was just a, a, a giant um, push to um, have us just accept Hillary. There was no sort of a convention in which, which we were expecting. It was, um, it was as though the decision had been made and we needed to get on board. And then, but they say that the party platform was very unified, the $15 an hour, the uh, uh, tuition, uh, education fees, and all those. So was, are those not real issues that they dealt with? Um, we did have a few caucuses that did address those issues, a few speakers that also addressed the issues. Um, a lot of the talks and, and the speakers were focusing more on um, pushing Hillary, really. It was like, you know, she's the best for the job. Um, with, without much involvement of the, of the issues, it was more of a story and, and her, as a, it was more romanticism um, of, 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 her, of her life that, than the actual issues or where she stood. So what are the issues for you? Why, I mean, you said they didn't talk about the issue, but mm -hmm. what are the issues that you are concerned about sure. but they didn't talk about? Um, well, I feel that the one of the issues that the, was not addressed at all really was fracking. Um, we brought it up as our, our chance and our, and our protest, but I don't I don't remember them addressing the issue at all really. TPP somewhat after we started pushing it as protesters, um, no war. 
Um, I feel like they were very uh, respectful or honoring of veterans, but yet there was no talk or any sort of addressing of stopping the war or de-escalating it. If anything, it made it very clear that it's, it's going to get bigger, it's going to get greater, and people are going to die. So we saw a lot of like uh, good feelings stuff on TV from the caucus. From, I'm sorry, not the caucus, from DNC. Yes. We didn't see what the protest was going on in the arena. Can you talk about some of the protests that was going on? Uh, you mean like during the chanting while yeah. the, okay. Yeah. Um, well, on day one, um, it was, it was um, I would say it was our, our loudest day. Um, we were, I would say, most frustrated from day one. Day one was very hard on us. Um, the, all the speeches that we heard in the breakfast really fueled our anger um, because they made it very clear that they weren't there to unify. It was, it was very clear from day one. So uh, on our very first day, um, it was more of a to show our anger and to show that we were not pleased with, with the way they were running the meetings and, and um, the campaign for that matter. As the, as the week progressed, we became more organized and more um, uh, position driven. We wanted to actually push certain positions and certain items and issues. So uh, we went from, from being loud and angry to loud and angry and organized. So it was, it was a great experience. <laughs> well, the DNC is over now. What are your motivations? What are your plans? Well, definitely we want to stay involved and stay connected. Um, we don't want to lose all of the contacts that we've made and the traction that we've made. Um, we feel that um, we did get to, to push a lot of the issues over to the left where they need to be. So we're very proud of ourselves in that, in that matter. Um, we're going to stay involved. We want to stay involved locally, at least. Um, I'm with CD29 in, in California. Um, we want to definitely start pushing um, local issues, local politicians, uh, and be involved with our community and be a resource for those who don't have the time to look into the things that we that we are looking into. So social awareness. So, are you one of those people, Bernie or Bus, or or Bernie or Green? Would you vote for Hillary? No, I wouldn't. So, who would you vote for? And why? Um, right now, um, I would say I'm a Democrat, um, I'm not leaving the party, I cannot vote for her, I cannot um, stand by her, um, I am thinking that maybe Jill Stein might be a, a good option for us now. So you mentioned you looking for the future to do grassroots stuff and do the local activities, the change from a, a bottom up. Yes. Isn't that what Bernie Sanders' platform is? It is. Yeah? It Could is. Could you talk about that? Well, we're very thankful to Bernie Sanders. Um, we, we appreciate all the work that he's done and, and the, he inspired us. Um, we, we stand with him um, with, and his issues and his platform um, and his strength. Um, we're very motivated by, by where he stood and we want to move forward with this revolution that has started. This is just the beginning. We were well aware that regardless of what happened in the, at the convention, and regardless of what happened in November, it would not be over. Um, things just got a little bit harder. We're not lazy. We know how to work hard, so we ain't going nowhere. So um, we're, we're very excited for the future. I think things look great. I think that we have a lot of strong leaders and independent thinkers in our team. And I think we're going to be OK. We have a great constitution, and that's not going anywhere. Oh, Neither good. are we. Oh, very good. So <laughs> the last words are yours, whatever you want to talk to the audience, um, anybody you want to motivate to do, get involved. I just want to say thank you to um, um, Bernie Sanders, absolutely his campaign um, and all of our support, um, our constituents, um, our, the, the protesters at the DNC, protesters at home, I think you guys did great and you motivated us. Um, everyone who stood outside the DNC, we are so thankful and we know that you guys worked hard and you were there for us and we kept you in mind and you kept us going 
and um, we just appreciate you and I know you appreciate us and that's what kept us going and that's what kept that week very motivated and very loud and we definitely made our voices heard. We might have had a hard time throughout the campaign but I think that in this convention we succeeded. Thank you very much. Thank you.